Uh, organizer told that you can come to the microphones and ask questions because I barely see what's going on because it's, I'm a bit blinded by the lights. Hi there, uh, this is Melody Schreiber. I'm from Arctic Today. I was wondering how much this park has cost and who is paying for it? Mm, uh, mostly so, as I said, uh, we are running the Arctic Research Station, which is, uh, uh, let's say, making profit studying uh, climate change, and we're channeling those money into solving the climate change. Uh, also, we had some uh, fundraising campaigns and, well, we have a land from the government which made it tax-free, so I think that's a kind of the answer. Mostly it's our efforts, but let's say one of the reasons why I'm here is to encourage other people to participate and other countries to participate, because uh, permafrost may be located in the Russian Arctic, but it will definitely affect other countries even more than Russia. Hi, um, I have a question. Um, I, I see that you don't have too much time right now to um, explain exactly the, prop, the process of getting the animals, but for me it looks like you're getting them out of their habitats and just setting them anywhere else. So I would like to know if like, do you actually have monitoring and someone caring of the well-being of the animals? No, of course we don't let them on their own right away, so we do provide extra forage. We do have uh, some shelters for the first winter to let them adapt. So this uh, uh, definitely would be very stupid of us to just to let unprepared animals to go because the death rate would be unacceptably high. So yes, we put lots of, I think most of the efforts actually go into adaptation of animals. All right, so thanks very much for attention, and I think I can go.